question and thank you for, for that question. I would say every human being, regardless of their political affiliation, loves a thing of beauty. So I think art speaks to, to everyone. Um, uh, I think it's Ju the, the writer Julian Barnes who wrote somewhere a beautiful phrase. He said, art is the whisper of eternity in the noise of time. I think I, I like that sort of phrase, you know, which, which sort of points to the, to the existential human um, uh, thing, which is art. And, and the interesting thing is that people of those mov movements I don't agree with, the politicians in those movements, they hate art. <laughs> uh, things they make are essentially quite ugly. The buildings they build, ugh. Uh, they, they, don't like, they don't like music unless it's bombastic uh, um, uh, propaganda uh, music. Uh, there's a story here. Uh, but they don't speak for their voters. Their voters would like to live in a community where there's beauty. Their voters like a beautiful painting or a well-made film. So I think, I think <coughs> fighting against populism and extreme nationalism is also fighting for the arts and for aesthetics. These movements are anti-aesthetic. Uh, and you, aesthetics is, is, is a human craving. Everybody wants the thing of beauty. We don't have to agree about what is beautiful, but you know, even, even cave dwellers started drawing on, on the walls. You know? So, so we, we should never lose track of this essential human uh, need which is art, and that's why I believe filmmakers should be more engaged in all of this, but also writers. The, the time of writers to be engaged has come back. The, the time of artists to be engaged has come back. Not to be engaged to make more money, but to be engaged to, to reflect about our society, to, to light the truth about our society. That's what art does. Thank you.